Hello, and welcome to Looping Thrills. Now, I might not be the guy that you remember, but I am Hangtime Thrills helping out with today's video. Me and Looping Thrills have been working on this video for a while, and it actually got pushed back for quite some time, but I am excited to announce today's video. The top 10 most original Six Flags editions over the past 10 years. And just before we get started, this video is 100% narrated by me and 100% written by Looping Thrills. Alright, so let's get into the video. Six Flags has certainly had its ups and downs over the years and they are certainly no stranger to cloning coasters. But their original rides can actually be pretty awesome. And those are the coasters and flat rides that will be spotlighted in today's video. Before we begin, here is one honorable mention. Twisted Colossus at Magic Mountain. Twisted Colossus was not the first hybrid coaster, nor was it the first RMC, so you might be wondering what makes this coaster so original. It was the first dueling slash racing RMC since the original prototypes made by Aerodynamics back in the 1970s and 80s. It was also one of the first Mobius loop coasters, meaning that you can get on both sides of the coaster without getting off. It has also been rated one of the best steel coasters in the world. Enough with that, here is the actual list. Number 10, West Coast Racers at Magic Mountain. This was not the first time Six Flags worked with Premier Rides, nor will it be the last. West Coast Racers will most likely be the start of the new revolution of family thrill coasters made by Premier Rides. The coaster isn't very tall, very fast, very long, or very intense. The stats are not impressive at all. But what is impressive is the ride experience itself. This is really the perfect dueling coaster. It actually races every single time. Using a state-of-the-art system that guarantees a race every time, so your ride experience is not jaded by slow park guests. The coaster is also suitable for all ages. If you want a more intense and exhilarating ride, go sit towards the back. But if you sit in the front car, you will have a perfectly fun experience that you can ride with everybody in your family. At number nine is Max Force at Great America. This is the first time that Six Flags and SNS have worked together on a major project, well, besides free spins. Opening in 2019, this coaster is one of the shortest roller coasters out there, under 2,000 feet long, but the fast-paced ride experience really makes up for it. This coaster is predicted to be the beginning of many SNS launch coasters in the chain. At number 8, you have Harley Quinn at Discovery Kingdom. This was the first roller coaster actually manufactured by Skyline Attractions. Even though it is generally not well liked by enthusiasts and park guests, it is still super original. Now due to the major issues that Harley Quinn had, it is very unlikely to see Six Flags and Skyline work together. At number 7, we have Crazanity, Wonder Woman, Joker, Pandemonium, and Riddler's Revenge. This is the Zamperla Giga Discovery. I guarantee everybody watching this video has seen or heard of a Frisbee flat ride. So why is this so original? It's cause Six Flags made it absolutely huge. Six Flags has cloned this ride so many times and each time making it around one foot taller than the others to market it as the world's tallest frisbee ride. At number six and five, we have Lex Luthor and Zumanjaro at Magic Mountain and Great Adventure. I am grouping these two giant drop towers together cause they basically accomplish the same thing. Drop towers have been produced for well over a hundred years, so what makes these two special? They are actually attached to roller coasters. Instead of being freestanding structures, they decided it would be cheaper and more effective to just build them on the side of very tall coasters. These two thrilling and super tall Intamin roller coasters are some of the tallest on planet Earth. King Dakka, which houses Zumanjaro Drop of Doom, is 468 feet tall. And Superman Escape from Krypton, which holds Lex Luthor Drop of Doom, is 415 feet tall. At number 4, we have Superman at Discovery Kingdom. This was the first of many Premier Ride Skyrocket 2s that would be added all around the world. With a 90 degree drop, a non-inverting loop, and an inline twist, along with three launches, this coaster is incredible. And we are lucky that Six Flags and Premier Rides thought up such an original yet clonable design that could fit in a small area for parks on a budget. At number three, we have Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster at Fiesta, Texas. This was the world's first single rail roller coaster. Or wait, that's what it was marketed as, but it actually wasn't. 
It was the first thrilling and actually good single rail roller coaster. With tons of airtime moments, three inversions, and an awesomely paced ride, this coaster is truly one of RMC's best. Now for the top two. Number two, Batman at Fiesta, Texas. This was the first small-scale fourth dimension roller coaster. With a height of just around 120 feet, this coaster can really fit anywhere. It is really comparable to the modern day Vacoma Boomerang of how much it spreads around the country and is very thrilling and compact and cheap. Many people don't like being whipped around in their seat in a free spinning nature, but others just love the uncontrollable ride experience you get from it every time. And for the coveted number one spot, you guys probably could have guessed this, but it's the new Texas Giant at Over Texas. Where to start with this one? First of all, it was the first RMC coaster. It started a revolution of popular RMC hybrids popping up around the globe, and it also started a great relationship between them and Six Flags. Nowadays, it has been criticized for its use of large overbank turns and not very good pacing, but everybody does agree on that this coaster was very original and vital of the success of RMC and coasters throughout the 2010s. So there you have it, the top 10 most original Six Flags creations throughout the decade. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Anyways, we will see you next time.